Good, because today in Moggy Muse we're looking at how electricity helps even a bright spark like Alf. Alf's making a funny looking pizza. Looks more like spaghetti to me. Those are wires, Duke. What do they taste like? You don't eat wires. Those are old televisions, radios and hair dryers. You can't eat any of that stuff. So why is he cooking with them then? He isn't. I reckon he's making something electrical. Hello, Alf. Alf? Hello, Cooey. Does somebody want to speak to me? Yes, I do. I'm sorry, but if you want me from now on, you'll have to press this. It's called a buzzer. Why? Well, because it makes a sort of buzzing sound. But why? Well, because there's a battery there and electricity goes through the wires to the buzzer. No, and... I mean, why do I have to press a buzzer? Why can't I just shout Alf like I usually do? Because I've gone to all the trouble of fixing this up. Alf, what's got into you? I've seen the light, the electric light. I've just discovered how exciting electricity is. Oh, yes? <clears throat> yes, I can't imagine life without it. I mean, take today, for instance. My electric alarm clock woke me up. I got out from under my electric blanket, went into the kitchen, switched on the electric kettle, put some bread in the electric toaster. All right, all right, Alf. I get the picture. You use a lot of electricity in a day. Yes, electricity's got the answer to everything. And to prove it, I'm going to use it to make my job much easier. How? Oh. I've made a robot, and he's going to help me serve all my pizzas. Look, I'll bring him out. Wow, that's fantastic, Alf. I never knew you had it in you. Incredible. Yeah, he's got flashy lights in all the right places, just like a proper robot. And I've got complete control over his every move, all thanks to electricity. Watch. Oops. How do you do? My name is Percy. Would you like extra pepperoni? Oh, ho, ho. you see, he even speaks. Electricity making sound. It's brilliant. Percy? Yeah, that was the only name I could get him to say properly. <laughs> but he's brilliant, don't you think? He's just buzzing with wires and microchips. He's got more chips in him than a fish shop. <laughs> Do you want to have a conversation with him? Go on. All right. Um, tell me, Percy, what's Alf like to work for? Thick and chunky, lots of cheese. <laughs> really? And do you have to be plugged into a socket or do you run on batteries? My name is Percy. Excuse the mess. Let me get you another. Thick and chunky. Right. <laughs> and I know you work on electricity, but what's your brain made out of? <laughs> oh, <laughs> and oh, 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 <laughs> oh, dear. You two are having a right on ding dong. Ding dong. Excuse me, I must answer the door. But my name is Percy. <laughs> no, where are you going? Oi! You fool! Come back here! Don't you dare hit me again! Oh, I'm very sorry. Would you like him in? Oh. Look, I'm the chef! Stand still! Alf, can I have a word? Percy, stand still! Alf! Excuse me, I must answer the door. Oh. No, that's the buzzer! Got the doorbell! Hello, Mr. Marco. Oh. Um, pineapple, mozzarella, rocket money, pepper, <laughs> What were you going to say, Katie? I was going to say, tell him to mind the step. Ah, the steps? What can we do about those? I know. I'll put in an electric escalator. There's an answer to everything with electricity. What makes a CD player make a sound that we can hear? What makes a TV set show a program loud and clear? What gives us lots of light so it's easier to see? We'll tell you what it's... Electricity! I use an electric shaver. That's why I look so hunky. I use an electric brain. Sit down, I'm thick and chunky. I use an electric kettle to make a pot of tea. What, what do we need? need? It's electricity! Electricity is wonderful. It's a thousand making things go. Morning, pesky kitchen cat. Ow. That's why the plates go round when I'm mixing up my dough. Uh, Jimmy! Electricity is wonderful. Electricity, Electricity is, great. is great. It gives us lots of gas. How do you do exterminate? Ah! And when the house is dusty and you need to clean it through, your trusty vacuum cleaner helps to do the job for you. And what about the fairy lights that light your Christmas tree? What do they need? Electricity. 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 Not now. Electricity.
electricity is wonderful. It's great to have it around. Oh. It's just as good at moving things. Oh, does it make you sound? Electricity is wonderful. Electricity is great. It gives us brainy robots. My name is Papa Dave. Circus in the heart of tourist London. And if you're into seeing things that are amazing and done by electricity, then you can't get much better than this! So, time now for the big question. Where does all this electricity come from? I mean, in the countryside, they have lots of pylons and electrical cables that carry the electricity over the land. But here in the city, there's no room for pylons, so where does it come from? Well, the answer is under the ground. Wait a minute, it's an earthquake. Oh, something's happening. Oh, the pavement's moving. Whoa. This is the secret entrance to a world of electricity that is beneath your feet. Come along and we'll have a look at it. Here we go. Down these stairs, down these stairs. Now, mind how you go down the stairs. Now, did you know that there are over 29,000 kilometres of electrical cables that are buried deep within the city of London? Now, the thing is, if you put them end to end, they would stretch from London to Australia. Now, come along, come along. Down here. Ha -ha. And there are lots of these electrical substations all over London. And inside this room, this is where everything happens. So come with me. Come along. That's it. Come with me. Now, this, 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 this is where it all happens. You see, each of these separate switches control the electrical supply that make all of the lights in the city of Torrance, London light up. It's absolutely brilliant. Grand buildings, Trafalgar Square, and take a look at this one, Trafalgar Square Fountain. And there are others besides that control cinemas and theatres and restaurants. And if I was to throw any of the switches, I could plunge them into total and utter darkness. <laughs> Here, shall I have a go? Nah. Meanwhile, as Dave is all lit up in London, Shauna goes for a ride at the seaside. I've come to Torquay in Devon to a fair, which is a really brilliant place to come. All the movement, sound and lights that you see here are powered by lots and lots of electricity. Everyone has fun here till really late, and that includes me. Woo! Ah, uh, hold tight, riders, please. Hold tight. We have lift off. Hold tight, riders. Oh, no. Here we go. all is quiet because the fair is having a rest and it's closed but it's a good time to see how everything works and the best person to show me that is the fairground owner and I know he's around here somewhere. Hi Roland, Hi nice there. to meet you. I've got a question for you. In order for all these rides to work, for the lights to come on and for them to move, they obviously need electricity. But where do you get it from if we're in the middle of a field and there aren't obviously some electric sockets? Well, we've got a, a generator here which generates electricity which supplies the bumping cars. And under this box here, the electricity is brought to these cables. I see. And the generator is actually on a lorry, so you can move it around and take it wherever you want. That's right. So if I've got it right then, the engine drives the generator, which makes the electricity. The electricity then comes down through these cables and to the bumping cars over there. This is one of the bumping cars here now, in front of you, um, where it picks up the electricity from the connection up the top and runs down the pole uh, to where well, we've got one of these cars turned over here to the motor 
through the motor, makes the, the motor go round, the wheel go round, which drives the pumping car, through to the metal wheel here and back out to the metal floor. So now for the ultimate test, let's try it out. To make the bumping car move, the electricity comes from the connection at the top and down the pole to the electric motor in the car. And then out into the metal floor. Every one of the rides at the fair is made to move by electricity. What's wrong with Percy? And why is he talking in that funny voice? I reckon his battery's running low, Duke. He'll grant to a halt in a minute. So why doesn't he just pop in a new battery? Well, the batteries are up in the kitchen, and Al still hasn't told him what steps are. Percy's been walking on the spot for the past five hours. <laughs> Every night whilst you're asleep, electricity is at work, from printing newspapers and comics to baking bread. And when you wake up, it dries your hair and helps make your breakfast. If there was no electricity, what do you think people would miss most? TV. Television. The radio. I'd miss my dishwasher. <laughs> my food and the TV. Blow dry my hair. Computer, I thought so. Computer, microwave, television, television. Warm, oh, the coffee. <laughs> my washing machine. My keyboard. Television, TV. Coming right up, coming right up. Good morning, my name is Percy. Would you like extra tuna fish? Oh, yeah, great. Just put it down there, Mace. <laughs> Thanks, Purse. And could you fetch us another 12 pizzas, please? Affirmative. My name is Thick and Chunky. <laughs> well done for finding the remote control, Duke. Yeah, good old electricity, that's what I say. His new battery should last a whole day, at least. 